Well, good morning, good evening, or should I just say g'day? It's <laughs> Chris Adamo, CBA here with you, um, just showing you a quick little uh, bit of information, a little sharing of how I designed this little bad boy. Um, we're going to be using the balloonpro.co design tool, but what, what I'm trying to show you in particular today is um, the method in which I designed this uh, to suit a particular space. We had this requirement where the client had this cart um, and they wanted to use it for a uh, Chris promo Christmas promotion. It's um, 2020 for a big shopping center and they're going to be handing out all kinds of things from this cart. So the design had to be built around it. So I just wanted to share you one little thing perhaps you didn't quite realize was, um, was, was very easy and I'll try and walk you through that process of design. So the, the template we've used, as you can see, is the Qualitex Quicklink X-Grid. So we can find our way to um, the 12-inch X pattern, purely because I, I love those lines. So it's a like beautiful 45-degree angle that comes with the, uh, the X-Grid shape. Um, just lended itself perfectly for the, the roof of the gingerbread house. So we can see this cart. Um, I've got a, another design here. So this was the cart uh, information I was given. It was um, about two meters wide and 2.2 meters tall. So a little bit taller. Um, so what I know with our, um, our quick links is when you fully inflate them, uh, well, not fully, but you mostly inflate them to 30 inches. Uh, so 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches uh, as a single balloon. When you make a square, or in this case, an X out of those um, 12 inch inflated balloons, they work out to be um, 50 by 50 centimeters. So 50 centimeters wide by 50 centimeters tall, be it this X or this square. So that way, if I were to have two squares on top of each other, half a meter plus half a meter is one meter. And for all you guys over in the US, you can do your, your conversions quickly on that. Uh, so one meter is about, um, three point something feet. So, you know, X on an X, again, about one meter, like very, very close. So when I've given the restriction of um, this gelato cart, we'll, we'll draw on blue perhaps, uh, that it is to be using block paint, uh, two meters wide, so that's one, two, three, four X's by um, 2.2 meters tall. So we'll go one, two, three, four and a half X is tall. Whoops. Okay. So one, two, three, four and a half. And we're one, two, three, four wide. So now I can just quickly color that in. So this is the confines, the restrictions that we've been given of our gelato cart. And we can just quickly remove these. So if I were to, um, start thinking about the uh, the shape of the gingerbread house, I know also that my client has asked me that they don't want it more than about a meter and a half on either side. So that's simply two, four, that's five quick links, which is one X, two X and a half. And I can then uh, color it in. So it's just wonderful when we have the ability to pre-plan um, and pre-design to specific dimensions because we don't want to just start creating any old thing. Um, we of course want to, uh, want to build, oops, add rows, add columns, sort of move that down here. So now the height, the restriction that we've been given with our height is about three meters, uh, thereabouts. So once again, if we just add up our squares, so one, two, three, four, five, so that's two and a half meters, six, seven, thereabouts. So let's just sort of have a look at that. Um, we are having the roof, just to look back in our photo, the roof is white as a separate line. So you can see actually just to cheat, I've sort of cut it into one, two, three X's. So one and a half meters tall on this side. And let's just follow that. So one, two, three X's, and I'll just remove the block paint button. And we can just follow that diagonal up to the center point. That's exactly where I drew that back down and cut through here. So that's our roof line. And now we just color in the rest. So I'll remove this and here 
and so on. So I'm just holding down the mouse button to click and drag. All right, so that is our um, gingerbread house. We can click the tidy up button. Uh, I just sort of zoom in and out on the browser. So we can also click block paint and remove our center. We don't need that anymore. Take away this. So what's wonderful about this system, I'll add the corners, is um, within balloonpro.co, you can see a full stock order list. So you can see that we, with the 30 inch centimeter, which is the 12 inch quick links, we need 108. Um, if I were to just sort of click on one button here, see that's that smaller five inch junction, you'll see that the 12 centimeter moves up in twos because it's assuming that there is a second as a pair behind it each time. Likewise, when I'm clicking on the um, 11 inch, the 25 centimeter, we inflate them to about 10 inch or so. Um, it's, it's also in twos. So for every balloon, there's a balloon behind because that's the only assumption that this is a single skinned panel and we need a corresponding balloon behind to flatten that skin. Um, we can also look at our exploded view, which will show us the production in columns or what I call ribbons. So if I look at the uh, ribbon number two, we can see that it, we work our way in quick links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mocha. And we come to that junction, have a one white, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mocha. So that's our chain of 18 balloons that we can inflate as an, in advance and twist it along each of those junctions. And then I'll add the white as a separate piece at the end. That to me is the fastest way of doing it. This single separate chain here, I'll add on by itself like this. And uh, I will build just purely in squares for the start and add my singles on afterwards. Now, just a quick discussion on, on this. This was double skinned. So the, the design tool still really does help with double skinned, but you just have to keep in mind that the stock order isn't accurate or, anymore. So that uh, 30 centimeter quick links, we can simply double that 108 times two, but we do need to remember that there will be a quick link in between every junction, which are these small guys, one, two, and so on. And we can see that there is 80 balloons, so there's 40 junctions. So we just need to add 40 quick links. So 108 times two, 216 plus 40. That's how I work out the quick links. That's from experience. We will look to perhaps add a double skinned uh, calculator tool, but just for now that seems to work quite fine. So uh, great. Um, why don't I show you then also how we um, exported this for the purpose of the quote. So I designed it just like this first, sent the quote away with a digital render and, uh, and then I saved it. So make sure every time you design it, something, we, you, you save the file um, on your hard drive, whatever you want to call it. Um, now for the purpose of this, uh, let's add a little bit of color. The color was um, in these larger 11 or you know, inflated about 10 inch size. If I just zoom out a bit. Uh, one, two, you get the idea. So why don't we add a second color just to jazz it up. You can always change these colors quite quickly, of course. So yellow here, I'll replace with a uh, wildberry, whatever it may be, or replace with, let's go back to yellow. And red, click them on. So I've got a video um, that I've shared before in how we export this and insert it uh, or paste over a, a photo of a venue or a space. So just to go through that again, file, save as a PNG. The PNG file is a vector file. So all of the, the blanks are hidden out. Gingerbread two. And here we are, I'm using um, Adobe um, Illustrator, but you can use Google Drawings like I've explained in the past. And we will open Gingerbread 2. And oops, I didn't remove the uh, guides, silly me. So one button here just removes all of the unused spaces. So let's save that again. I uh, have to close this. File, save as PNG. Save that. And 
come back here. All right, that's better. So we'll copy that and paste it here. So let's resize. There we have it. So that is our gingerbread house um, designed to measure based on the requirements from the client. Um, and uh, using also that stock order count, uh, that helps me for my quote because we charge per linear meter of each quick link ribbon um, and simply double it for that um, dual skinned, more three-dimensional gingerbread house. So the, the Balloon Product Co design tool um, has many uses. You, you can design, of course, you can make to measure, and then you can use it for um, those digital renders and also for the quote. So I hope that's been helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.